Hey YT world, this your girl La Kiki, Miss D dot C dot that is, and I'm just like, wow. This Basketball Wives episode nine, um, it was everything. Um, yeah, I had laughter, I had a little bit of tears, you know, even if I didn't want to, it's it was trying to make me have it. Um, it was a little bit everything. The main, the moral of this whole story is. Um, Go to the source. Go to the source's mouth and you get shit done. Um, that's what I would say. Um, I'm pretty much going to go into it, the meat and potatoes and stuff like that of um, the scenes because I don't know. I don't remember every scene by scene. I just know that OG and Jackie were a part of every fucking scene in this. So, yeah, that's pretty much like they were in every scene, literally. Um, and Tammy even had a couple. And I was shocked. Like, is she really back? Because she is sort of in every scene it seems like so hey um be, but but before um i get into it make sure you like and subscribe to my channel i will appreciate that dearly and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get my updates on whatever videos i do but just keeping this thoughts and opinions short and sweet of this episode um pretty much we start off with malaysia and um because i do remember that part Mal malaysia and dry ass Kristen, and she pretty much want to um she have her kids they had a a jumping place you know one of them jumping place of several fucking jumping places they have for kids that smell like fucking feet and i hate it um and, and she's pretty much talking about um uh doing a um 90 skate party and that she was gonna probably try to go in uh ashley banks but i don't think she even disclosed that at that time but she just like 90s party i'm inviting everybody except for cc i'm not inviting her cc probably was going to decline anyway so don't even matter girl like you you making your like you making it seem like she mattered to you or you mattered to her that much she don't fucking care about you so she probably wasn't going to show up anyway and that weak ass party um she wasn't missing shit so um then you go to uh i'm not even sure what scene what scenes these are but uh pretty much malaysia i think it was jen malaysia uh sorry jen og and jackie and they were all together talking and um i forgot exactly what they was actually talking about um oh they uh jackie was pretty much talking about um the streets, like, started talking about the streets, was talking, you know, a little bit about Malaysia, um, and she disclosed that the gin and all that, well, that's how they show it, uh, but pretty much, um, she was like, Jen, are you going to try to make up with Malaysia, um, at the little skate party, or whatever, like, you going to explain to her that, you know, things going on, and, uh, about the stuff you may have said about her kids and things like that, of that nature and then uh jen is just like look uh, she said she don't want nothing to do with me so okay we don't have to have no friendship and all that like please stop coming to me with all that and she should stop coming to her with all that like let it be done like if malaysia want to whip her ass let her whip her ass and be done with it but they're not going to be friends so jackie you're pushing the mark it's thursday shit because i'm in this hot ass car because it's a bee outside of my window and I am not fucking letting it down. So I guess I'm going to be burning up doing these reviews. Because I got Big Brother after this. But yeah. So skip over to that scene. Um, they said pretty much are you going to um, talk to uh, to OG. They was like you going to talk to Cece. Because she pretty much lied. And uh, you better uh, confront her head on about the shit. Pretty much this was a whole episode of freaking everybody. Uh, pretty much going to the. Oh I hope you ain't hear my. Ugh my um stomach growl hard as shit but pretty much everybody going to the source everybody going to um straight up to the source's face is like yeah you said the shit about me like you know what's going on what's the tea like is this real okay you said this da, da, da. pretty much that's what this whole episode was about and she's like yeah i'm gonna talk to cc okay and then you have the next scene with og talking to cc she go visit her at her place um, at her um, um, health spa or health office uh, place. I think it's like chiropractic type medicine, things like that that she uh, um, specializes in. 
but she go there and she like yeah i pretty much came um to just tell you like yeah that was foul the shit that you didn't pretty much um own your words you knew you you knew you wrote them texts and she was like well that's two years ago and i was defending somebody that i thought you know that was my family and i don't even think she had a chance to even say that but maybe she talked deeper about it off the camera but it was just a generic i i probably said the words before i met you and i you know I, it was really hurtful and you know because at first she was just dragging on about how she didn't believe that it was the real text and stuff and and then she realized, yeah, that was two years ago. And then OG was like, look, yada, yada, y'all with that bullshit. Miss me with that bullshit. You said that shit. And the point is that take ownership of that shit. So she finally take ownership and just suck it up. And then they, you know, go about their merry way. And she's like, next time you're going to come back and um get a little treatment. I know you don't like no cosmetic stuff done, but, you know, do some kind of other stuff. Like, girl, you still calling me ugly? You still trying to fix my ass up? Pretty much. Um... And then uh, we go over to the costume store, I believe. And then that's when, um, I'm trying to think, do we go to the costume store? Do we go to the costume store? No, not before the costume store. Uh, before the costume store, we go to the, um, I think it's Evelyn and uh, Evelyn, Kristen, and Jackie at that time. And I think Phoebe as well. And they pretty much um, are together and um, pretty much talking like Jackie pretty much spread in the, with the street saying about Malaysia. Some some guy in Atlanta, I think B or something like that. Some guy in Atlanta pretty much spread and gossip about Malaysia. Um, pretty much children. I that dirty part was not added into that. He pretty much said, like, look, you was a bad mother and things like that. And uh, you ain't take care of your kids. And you got put out your house in L.A. and all that. That's what was said. Um, and he was saying that Jen spread the gossip. Or she said it. And then uh, to Dominique. And Dominique spread the gossip all around the A. That's what was said on the phone with the guy so because of course evelyn messy ass is gonna call it's like are you not being a friend to malaysia you just trying to get more dirt and stuff like you you just want the extra tea so you can um go back in or you just want to be in a no pretty much but you're not no fucking friend neither the fact that you even took the time out to call the dude is not showing that you really a friend for real for real you you did not want to do that so you could be like Oh, I am your friend. You might want to do it for strategic reasons for the show to say, yeah, I was your friend. I found out and da 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 da. I got to the nitty gritty of things and got the real information. It's like, girl, you know we love you. And no, you was the one walking out when she was with her friend, and y'all walked out because she wanted to protect her friend by standing by her friend, and y'all walked out on her when she was talking to y'all. That's the same one that was friends. Okay, and you ain't even know her at that time. Okay, but um. So same difference to me. And Phoebe just looking like rolling her eyes back. I could tell she was uncomfortable in this scene because it's like I'm putting another freaking scene with the gossip. And I really don't like the fact that they even calling this dude. And that's really uh, suspect of you even calling. And Evelyn being the one that I'm hanging with and introduced on the show by. And you actually calling up the dude. You messy. You showing me your messy side. She really wanted to say this, but she don't got enough balls to even say it. Oh, she don't have balls. She a female. But still, she ain't woman enough to be like, Evelyn, you shouldn't have even called the guy. You know, that's what you need to get down to the nitty gritty about. You shouldn't even call the guy. Jackie, you shouldn't even told us about this. You should have let it been in the street and stayed in the street and be dead. We don't care about no street. This The street is not on the show. So keep the shit on the show of whatever we're going through now. Like, don't talk about no streets on the show. You're only giving it life, obviously, to all these millions of viewers. If y'all even had that shit, especially at the time leave, y'all probably would be dead out here in these streets. Um, so, streets would be talking about that shit. But, um, pretty much that was crazy. So, then we move on to Evelyn, uh, sorry, um, Kristen, Tammy, um, Kristen, Tammy, Jackie, and OG in the uh, costume store. And pretty much Kristen is inviting um, them to um, the party as well. 
Um, and she's pretty much, they like, where you going to go with? She's like, I'm going to go with Ashley Bank. That's a good one because that's the only pretty hair one you can go with except for the um, hanging with Mr. Cooper. You could have did Zaria too. And you could have done um, um, In the House with uh, LL Cool J. Um, and you could have did Mia from uh, In the House because she was had the pretty head too so you could have did her all you had to do was do wear what you normally wear and shit all you wear is workout pants um and put your head back in a ponytail and shit so you could have definitely did her before she became broke and start prostituting herself and became a crackhead hopefully she's recovered now and i believe but i'm not sure if she relapsed or not but yeah you could have played any of them hoes with good hair um so that you're your thought process of the 90s was just like lesser shit because everybody could easily just do it, Ashley. Um, but anyway, Tammy pick out her stuff real quick. She like, there you go. She's like, what up? She's like, yeah, but I won't be attending your party. Well, when well, I'm going to miss her party, her skate party. Like, no, I rather, I rather um, clock these ducats. You know, I'm not going to be losing no sleep over missing her party pretty much. And I understand because I would feel the same way going. As soon as I walk in, I'll be like walking back out. So, um, <laughs> it was just funny she said that. Um, what else I want to say about this? Uh, pretty much that's it about that part. Um, but uh, that's when the tea was dropped, and Jackie was pretty much saying stuff was spread about um, Malaysia. And, and then Kristen's like, Jackie, what are you doing? Like, you know, I'm going to have to snitch on your ass because you're talking about Malaysia and we got a reunion coming up so I'm trying to make sure I drop every skeleton out there, every bone that's out there from the skeleton because uh, it ain't coming back to bite me and be like you knew all this time and you ain't tell me and you're my family member so I gotta snitch on your ass why are you giving me stuff to snitch on your ass for, with that's pretty much what she is, she the bone curry of the season, you thought it was Jen but no it was Kristen Kristen's the motherfucking bone curry um and pretty much, uh, Tammy got a chair. I was cracking up laughing when she did that. She like, these heels hurt right now. Y'all taking too long to get to this. Because I want to shoot the scene real quick and leave. Uh, and pretty much, she asked, Jackie, dang. You know that T, um, what they say? Is the streets talking about me? After she got, uh, after she told OG that, um, what Evelyn said about her, um, I'm sorry, no, she didn't tell Evelyn, she didn't say Evelyn about that, I'm sorry, she ain't said that part, but, uh, she was like, uh, but Tammy was saying, uh, did they have any tea to say about me? Dang, uh, okay, lady, okay, a little thickums in a little outfit, okay, she look cute, but, um, yeah, it was like, it, uh, she was like, dang, uh, what they saying about me or whatever that's what tammy said and um what did jackie say they said about tammy i can't even remember because i ain't taking no notes i just watched this in the car and uh going off the top of my brain i'm gonna go to the next scene because i don't exactly remember what they said about tammy Oh, the Tatiana Trill Jane. That's what it was. She was like, uh, yeah, Phoebe had some stuff to say about your uh, non-rapping ass. Um, talking about some, uh, you too old, you need to give it up. Um, your rap career and all, like, you, your music career period is over with. You too old for that. Your day is uh, come and gone already. Pretty much, that's what she's saying. Sit your old ass down. Uh, but she reported it wrong as shit. She did not say that, Jackie. And uh, uh, Tammy was like, yeah, well, when she woman enough to um, or grow up and woman enough to come and have a sit down with me, then I'll talk to her. But that's crazy because I supported her in every little corny ass rap she did. And um, I ain't say nothing about her as of yet. Um, and Jackie was like, you going to meet with her? And she was like, yeah, I'm going to meet with her. I'm going to tell her what you said, pretty much. Jackie knows she fucked up then. That's what you get for spreading things that you don't... You think they ain't going to come back? You telling people that's going to go straight up to people's face and say things 
why would you think that's gonna come back when the person like that, like Tammy, like Malaysia, it's gonna go straight to the horse. They're not gonna be like going this person, that person. Did she say that this? No, they're gonna go straight to the horse's mouth and then it's gonna catch your ass up. So don't do that dumb ass stuff no more, Jackie. So pretty much uh Tammy goes to her um goes to her um uh, uh dialect class with a teacher that was pretty much teaching her the British accent because she wants to perfect the in the English tongue of the UK. Um and he she was doing drills with him and all that and then you have OG walking and then you had Phoebe walking Phoebe instantly realized her ass was set up. <laughs> I was cracking up laughing. Sit that ass down, bitch. But anyway, Tammy was like, yeah, thank you, thank you. But let me let me get to the nitty gritty. Okay, so um, I heard you've been saying a lot about me. And I haven't said nothing about you. And I'm like getting really irritated of y'all this whole basketball wives group and then that's when OG like amen amen yup yup I can see it in your face I could I can tell I can see it in your face girl she only no hype man shut your ass shut your ass up and sit back you only here just to confirm yes that was said yes mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. because if she come alone and Phoebe say anything to Tammy ain't gonna be nobody to be like Mm -mm, she ain't said like that so she had somebody in backup didn't know that was a part of the whole conversation like yes it was said like that okay what is your what is your thoughts on it speaking of mike okay so phoebe's pretty much saying phoebe i heard you saying that my time has come i'm too old for this shit and i need to dead this shit pretty much and phoebe's like i didn't say anything in those words at all so jackie is lying 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 i'm tired of jackie because everything keep being spread around this group and keep being watered down to worse i said in the quote um um pretty much that um uh, you said you do your daughter was teaching you uh how to rap because you only knew old school rap so she teaching you new rap I said that's good. That's good because that's good because she only knew old school rap. So that's good that her daughter teaching her, you know, new school rap. So get it, you know. That's what she said, and that was correct for once. Like she did not uh, backpedal and pussy pop over that situation. Phoebe was straight up because after the first time getting punked by OG and lying straight to her face, which she still need to admit, at least she admitted that part. Um, but then things got messy because you got backed in the corner by Tammy and she is used to backing people in the corner and getting more information than needs be because people be scared and intimidated of her approach. And OG was like, yeah, well, Jackie made it seem like you were just riding on her by being older, too older to rap or whatever. And she was like, no. She And the Tammy's like, look, I absolutely... Uh, supported you. I never said a bad thing about you or anything like that. And Phoebe like, yeah, you did support me and that is a lie. Jackie is like, I'm tired of this group already. Like pretty much they, you take one thing and they water down everything. She's like, so what's Ben saying? And then OG was like, she said to OG, well, Jen said some things about your shoes. It's like, why would you start off like saying, say some things about your shoes? Just say the damn thing. Like, what what you got to procrastinate on what's what was said some things were said about your shoes okay so they were saying about my shoes like you thought i was just gonna keep it at that okay what bitch like really and then she was she was all like that your toes were hanging out of it okay T shoes like that always gonna make your feet slide and hang out period i don't care what you do especially if you glossing your feet up because you're chocolate at that you're black right Okay, and so we had to oil our feet extra hard. So when we put all that oil on our feet and slip into some heels like that, it's like stripper type heels, my toes are going to hang over no matter what. I don't care what size you wear, how long or small your feet is. Your feet is going to come in the front, period. Just like how Phoebe's foot came in the front when they was in that strip class. So it's going to be like that no matter what is what I'm saying. Um... Pretty much, 
Um, that's third grade shit as well. That is. You are extra focused, Evelyn, on everything. Um, you're in all the juice, but then trying to like act like you're not part of the drama of spreading it as well. But you have been. Um, and retaining the, the shit anyway to get it started. Because you have no storyline, so you gotta be in everybody's shit. Ch pretty much like, um... Pretty much like Giselle. Pretty much from Housewives of Potomac. Um, and then Tammy said, what well, well, shit? Is, is my name spreading the gossip? I know I'm not around, but I'm sure I'm talked about. And then Phoebe said, well, yeah. Jennifer was saying something about, you know, in the lunch I had with them. And she was saying something about your pussy juice being left in outfits and stuff. And then when you try to return it back to the company or whatever. And then Tammy was like, you know what, with this shit, like, I'm out with this shit. Like, literally, I'm out. Ain't no fucking black girl magic in this group or anything like that. I'm done. And then, oh, she said, where you going? She said, I'm done, bitch. And then I said, I'm done. I'm walking out. I'm done. Go ahead with that, boo. Go ahead, Tammy, because I would have been walking out the door, too. Oh, my pussy juice was left. Okay, I put my pussy juice in your face, bitch. Next time. <laughs> you want to know what pussy juice look like? You know, I'm going to show your ass next time. And I'll smear my pussy juice off my underwears and your goddamn on face or your tongue. Since that's what that's what can't hold in these streets. Your tongue, bitch. That's what I would have said. But that's funny. But she left off the part where her car declined. So she should have said all the shit. But I guess she wanted to leave some shit like, look, I ain't saying it all. But she was like, they all watered down information. Um, and pretty much the meat and potatoes of the last scene is pretty much with Malaysia pretty much being informed why everybody doing stuff after a toast. But see, this is what I don't understand. They toast, they toasted, um, in the morning in San Francisco, right? Was it San Francisco that they went to? San Antonio, San Francisco, San Francisco. And they toasted at breakfast, right? And then OG said, well, since we're all sitting here, okay, Kristen did that same thing. What'd they say? They was just waiting for it. Peggy Bundy with the shits. Like, with the freaking pen in her mouth. Y'all just waiting for her to spread the gossip. But y'all ain't say, oh, Krista, why would you do it at this time, Krista? You know? But Malaysia, I mean, um, Evelyn was just waiting for it. I'm like, what's she about to do right here? Why was I wanted to see if that was bored, uh, if anybody bring that up, if Shawty bring it up, like, why would she tell that at that time at her party? Like, why would she even mention that? <sighs> so it's just a double ass standard with this group. So pretty much Kristen tells Malaysia that um, by way of Jackie. And it's like, why are everybody using OG shit now? By way of Jackie, Jen uh, was spreading like, no, use your own thing. Via from you know from via Jackie, uh, a uh, Jennifer and Dominique was spreading the gossip around town about your kids, and she was like, "What they say about my kids?" And Malaysia was like going to full pa uh, panic attack mode. Evelyn was going f into full fake mode. Fake. I know what you mean. When they talk about sh my grown ass daughter. My heart stopped too, but these little ass kids, that's a grown ass dirt girl that can go on her Instagram and just fry that bitch. Your kid, your defenseless kids can't go on somebody's page or go on Instagram, Facebook, or whatever, and just drill the shit out of whoever talking about them. No, that's a grown ass girl. It's no comparison, but you doing the most, Evelyn, over there. Oh, no. Like, sit your ass down. You wanted all this shit to happen. But Malaysia standing up, having a freak, uh, freaking panic attack. And she was like, look. She started going into a panic and crying when she told her pretty much, like, your kids were dirty. You're a bad mother. You will put her in your house in L.A. And then Kristen said it with no empathy. That's how you know these hoes really wanted to see your downfall as well. Because they ain't had no empathy, sympathy, or anything when they were saying it, you go on drill off a list. You guys were dirty. You were a bad mother. You were thrown out your house in LA. Like you're not saying it like you're a family member to care. If you're a family member to care, it would have been something like, I'm sorry cousin, but they was, they was talking about um, 
I don't even want to say it because I know you're going to be upset. And it's making me upset. But I have to tell you. You know, some emotion. It wasn't no fucking emotion in her voice. That bitch wanted to say that and start shit. Because she wanted it to be off of her. With her drama with Cece and the family. She wanted to make a new narrative. And make people forget the shit that she got her own self in with her family. So let me mess up somebody else's family. Yeah, I know what it was about, pretty much. Um, But pretty much, they all put it on... Uh, Dominique and Jen and Jackie and pretty much I told you this wasn't going to last with Evelyn and Jackie because as soon as Evelyn seen a way to put stuff back on Jackie she going to put it back on Jackie and that's when uh, Dominique and Jen showed up so while they were still trying to take off their skates uh, Evelyn and uh, Kristen Malaysia was making her way to Dominique and um Jen, she was like, hi, I think, hi, Jen. Um, so Jen, I have a question, one question. I think if she learned the truth, she was going to deck Jennifer straight up. Jennifer and them came dressed as nothing, uh, but themselves. Cause what icon was you been? What was you been the way y'all was dressed? Okay. Um, I guess they was just like, we just here. Cause she don't never go by nobody's, uh, party theme or anything. She just wear whatever the fuck she want to wear. But, I mean, I can respect that because I'm going to just do me. Um, but pretty much Jennifer and them deny everything. And she was like, I didn't even know about it until Jackie brought it up to me. Like, I never heard nothing about your kids dirty or anything like that. Um, and I haven't heard any other information until Jackie brought this to me. So, they put it back on Jackie. And Dominique's like, I spread it? I spread something? She was like, no, I would never do that. Like, I have kids. I would never spread no stuff like that on nobody. She was like, okay. And they was like, do we need to talk to Jackie? Because Jackie is the middle of the person of all this. I had nothing to do with this. So then Jackie come in with her two guys. And she came in with these two dudes because she think they was going to protect her for real, for real. You knew you was in hot water when you was coming to this party. Do you think you was coming to this party knowing, uh, not knowing all the stuff that you was spreading that they wasn't going to come to your ass? Girl, you knew. That's why you bought the two butchers uh, uh, gay friends with you or whatever. Dion and this other dude or whatever so she was like we gotta go to the bathroom like that's what people run at first when they scared and they don't want to approach drama first they're like let me go to the bathroom and be in there for 15 hours Malaysia came right up she was waiting for Jackie but she, um Jackie come this way I gotta talk she was like oh we sure do and then Jackie put her skates down and Evelyn of course she was dressed up as Peggy Bundy acting all stupid with her expressions and then um Malaysia just got down to it like look I heard these uh, you spread these rumors about my kids said my kids was dirty and things like that and Jackie was like she seemed like Jackie seemed like she was high pretty much Jackie had like no real expression on her face but laughter expression and she was not taking it serious at all she was like Malaysia you know and you know you know that's the motherfucking lie you know they fucking lying um but I have to use the bathroom and Evelyn, that costume was hilarious as shit. But she was like, no, I need you to take your glasses off. I need to see your eyes. And she was like, they're lying, but I got to take a piss right now. It's like, girl, you trying to get out of the truth for real. That's how you know shit about to go down. And Malaysia's like, you taking this fucking as a joke. I'm not joking with your ass. I will deck you right here. And they start getting in each other's face. And Jackie like, look, Malaysia. You don't want to do this. You Please, you don't want to do this. Get out of my face or whatever. They lie. I'm telling you, they lie. I got to pee, but they lie. I'm going to handle it when I get back from the bathroom. But they lie. You don't want to do this. Get out of my mom's face. And then uh, Malaysia like, get your motherfucking hand out of my face. You better put your motherfucking hand down. Better put your motherfucking hand down. Pretty much, that's what she was saying. And then that's when um they pretty much was broken up by security. And then Malaysia was like, I had your back through everything and all that. And you want, that's what you want to do, spread lies and stuff. And then Jackie friends start going on Malaysia uh, about jumping in her friend's face. And she was like, uh, what you going to do about it? What you, what are you going to do about it? And they start going up to her, like, look like they was about to start some stuff. It started getting rowdy. So pretty much it's going to be a, a, to be continued with the shits and Jackie acting like she throw on a fucking table because she always got to look strong when she held back. So, um, cause she had all, all space and opportunity to do whatever in her face and she ain't do shit. 
But we're going to see the end results of this and see if she get down to the nitty gritty of everything. Um, but until then, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you share this video to everybody who you care or who cares. And if they don't care, share that shit any anyway, because that's my motto. <laughs> All right. With the next episode. Bye. Everything's spicing up. I hope.